first up, I have the honor of introducing uh, Stacy Stewart, who is a, a branding photographer. She's been a professional photographer with over seven years of experience in the, photograph in the photographic arts. She's been published in local magazines, uh, international blogs, as well as business to business magazines. There's one picture she did of uh, the CEO for the Canopy Growth uh, Corporation as well. She has been nominated as one of the Ottawa's, tops wedding, Ottawa's top wedding photographers, as well as the Entrepreneur of the Year in Ottawa's 2019 Phoebe Awards. Her specialization now is on branding photography and helping entrepreneurs develop their own personal brands through personalized professional storing, storytelling images. Stacy is gonna share how personal branding photography can benefit your business and what three things you can do right now to continue developing your personal brand get prepared for life after COVID-19. Please welcome Stacy Stewart. Thank you, Paul, for the introduction and uh, both uh, Paul and Michael for putting this whole uh, thing together here. It's amazing to see us all coming together. First, I just wanna explain a little bit about what personal branding photography does or is. It is a newer genre of photography and most people when they think of it automatically think headshots and commercial photography but it's a little bit different than that so I'm going to go into that and then as Paul said explain the three things um, you can do right now to help you through this time. So personal branding photography it's basically a subgenre of um, commercial photography which has been increasing in popularity over the last few years Entrepreneurs today are not just creating a business, they're building a brand, which as most of us know, takes intention and investment of both time and money. So everything that you do within your business from your website to advertising to social media has to convey to your audience that you're the authority in what you do and the optics of that are paramount. Your photo and image are often the first touch point that a client has with you from looking at your about page on your website to your social media posts and Facebook ads. This is often where your first impressions are made. So make it count. I don't know if you hear that in the background, but that is my cat playing. So <laughs> please ignore that. As I mentioned earlier, personal brand photography is a, basically a sub niche to commercial photography. And if any of you have ever had to hire out um, a photographer in the commercial arena, you know it can be very, very costly. Commercial photography is often hired out by agencies or larger companies and corporations which have creative directors, producers, art buyers, etc. So usually um, a hefty price tag is often attached and a single image can be sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. And this is what, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> love it, gotta love working from home, right? This is what's happening, folks. This is where there's a, a gap in the market uh, for smaller businesses to start taking advantage of using those same task tactics to bolster uh, their image and brand at a fraction of the cost. So. While some of you uh, may, see, may still see personal branding, um, photographers charging what you perceive as a high rate, it's still much, um, much, much lower than uh, commercial photography and you're still granted a commercial use license. Um, you're at least by any uh, personal brand photographers who are specializing in this type of photography and they put that license into their contracts and you always want to look for that when you're having um, a shoot so that you can use those images to make dollars without having to worry about uh, the photographer coming back to you and wanting royalties etc so always look for that clause in your contract um, so now that we're all housebound, <laughs> I'm going to give you uh, three tips to help you keep going and to develop your personal brand in case you've not had a chance just yet to get out and hire a personal photographer and head to that next level of image opulence. So the number one thing you need to do to insulate yourself against this COVID-19 disaster in your business is just keep showing up. Don't stop. Now more than ever, we need to stay top of mind with people. Now I've experienced over the last few days, information 
and media overload and it, it stressed me out a little bit. I had to shut it down with all the new groups and webinars and offers and uh, Zoom meetings ramping up, people sending me um, links to participate in this thing and that thing. It, it became a little too much and I got, I personally got overwhelmed and I suspect some of you might feel the same and in turn feel a little guilty about putting yourself out there and asking for business. So I'm asking you to pick and choose the things that you find important because everyone is switching online and we're getting all this new info and uh, way of doing things coming our way. So my advice is just to push through that mindset. Don't feel guilty about trying to run your business even through all of this new noise that's out there. Choose what's important to you and your business and to follow and accept that others might be doing the same. So if you know you don't, if someone doesn't accept your invitation to something, don't stress out because there's so much going on right now. But keep showing up on social media. Keep putting your offers out there. Keep thinking outside the box as much as possible. And these restrictions that we must adhere to right now are eventually going to pass. Uh, the next thing I would say is to use what you already have. If you were planning on updating your images or advertising and this disease just threw a, a big wrench in your plans, don't worry about it. Use images you already have and create new ones on your own. It doesn't have to be perfect. People still want to see you as, as you are. Well, yes, I 100% believe that having a bank of professional uh, personalized images uh, sets you apart from your competitors. I also 100% know that people also want to see the real you. Your photos, your stories, your advice, your quotes, your opinions, but you got to keep it real always so that people have that connection with you.